Hi everybody, all my followers, be welcome to another video. So, if you follow my channel, you might have seen, or maybe not, a video on this uh, car. It's a Sangyong Rodius, I think it is, uh, 270S. The engine on this is the XDI270, uh, which is a 2.7 diesel engine, a turbo diesel engine. Um, this particular module is a 2006-2007, I think I already said it, and uh, I've been doing some work on this, uh, problem with the clusters, uh, just keep stay tuned or uh, go on my videos and you'll find a video for it. But the video today, as per the title, is going to be on the Maxi Sys on this car. So, let's get the Maxi Sys plugged in and see what we can do with it. Okay, let's gonna turn the ignition on. And this is probably the best place, so let's do it. Still a little bit of glare, so let's try the auto scan. See if it detects the car. And it looks like it's not going to. Okay, and it failed. So let's cancel this and try to go through the proper software. Is this a. Uh, there it is. Okay, so it takes me straight to here. So, this is a Rodius 2004 onwards. Yeah, that's going to be correct. Okay, straight to this. So, we have a normal scan. So, this is my main menu. Odd functions. We do have TPMS, brake bleed, DPF, IMO in keys, injector and suspension. All self-explanatory. Let me just see if we can connect... Okay, so right now I'm a little bit confused. Let me try see. Hmm, I don't think it's going to. Let me see if he connects. Okay, so it does connect. It does take some readings. Two keys stored. There we go. Number one and number two. Okay, it connects uh, remote key coding. It might be that you can program keys. I'm not going to go through there for obvious reasons. And then we have the DPF, the brake bleed, uh, all self-explanatory. Some of this stuff, it might not gonna even fit on this car. So, okay, no connection on this. Might be done in a different way. Brake bleeds. This does have ESP. It does have ESP. Air bleeding, so it's just for the air bleeding, nothing. But it looks like it connects. Then we have TPMS. I don't think this car does have TPMS. I think. Mm. Okay, so there's no. There's no value injectors. Right, it's one of these two. I'm not sure if it's the 2CL or the 3CL. Let's just uh, say so it looks like you can do the injector coding, which is good. And suspension, this is just a normal suspension. There we go. So it's not going to connect. So let's go through what we usually do. So control unit manually. You guys know we do it always uh, automatic scan. So let them to do the scan, and so this is the diesel. Okay, so I think is it two. I think is it two. Let it to scan. See if it detects the engine. Yes, it did. Okay, let them do the job. 
and go from there quite quick though look at that okay and probably less than a minute scan is done so that's the stuff it found so let's kind of go to the engine I'm not going to do nothing with these codes. They're all history. We'll just clear them. Okay, lab data. Let me get the camera a little bit closer. Okay. As always guys just pause so you can have a better look if you guys want active tests self-explanatory guys special functions so leak detection is where it revs the engine, blah, 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 blah. So inject the coding, rail pressure, initialization, and write the VIN, which is actually good. If you can do the VIN on a used ECU. So that's my gearbox, my engine, my gearbox. I'll show the trouble codes, all history. God knows what's been done with this car. Okay, live data for the gearbox. Special functions. Oh, TCU coding, SCN coding, lockup function, adaptation function. Not bad, isn't it? If they all work, obviously. The option is here. Don't know if it works, guys. Right, next, ABS and ESP. Is that the one I've selected? Why well, I have a feeling that... Oh, he actually was. Sorry about that, guys. Let's do it again. Okay, trouble codes. Mm, communication error. That's interesting. Let's clear that if it goes. Battery has been the battery has been low and I've been it's charging at the moment, so it might be that was okay. So live data. There we go. The normal stuff. Wheel speeds. Blah blah blah. Active tests. Inner and outer valves, same stuff, pump motor, normal stuff for ABSs and ESPs, special functions, coding, initialization, not bad, and uh, the ESP sensors calibration, which is good. Okay, next, airbags. Ooh, that's not a lot. Trouble codes. Okay, so if you watch my videos, if you watch the video on this car, um, if you watch the, the entire video, you're going to see that the bulb for the airbag was uh, actually blown. So that's why that error is there. There's a new bulb in there now. But on the airbags, let's put it this way, in a nice way, is absolutely crap. You can only see the codes, no live data, no nothing. At least live data, you guys know how I love to see the resistance of the circuits and all that stuff, which you can't see here. So not very good, but hey, you have the codes, which is not that bad. Okay, triple codes here. Which module are we? I don't even know which module we are now. Oh, sorry, ah, there's actually TPMS. Hmm, that's interesting. Oh yeah, of course, because we could connect into that. Okay, so live data. No live data. Special functions. 
so you can delete any but maybe guys the TPMS has been deactivated so don't want to mess too much about it with it okay so immobilizer well we have we have been on immobilizer already so it's only that special functions is going to be giving me the two menus we've seen earlier so looks like we can program keys who knows okay HVAC or oh, there's no faults on these by the way and he failed wow live data not supported okay there we go that one RK sticks uh, there's no trouble codes but let's see if he reads oh actually there is one defective outdoor door lock operation mm. let's clear that out it might be because he couldn't see the speed of the engine of the car due to the issue with the cluster who knows okay so live data is actually uh, okay so special functions Remocon coding guys I don't even know what Remocon means so I would have to research so I don't want to touch that DCCU live data there we go and special functions Todd coding so I believe it's to code maybe the other one is to code that module this one looks like it's to code this module oh hold on was faults on this one let's quick look at the faults okay so it might be that is all to do Hmm, it isn't clear. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay, let's go to live data. That's interesting. Well, the car came to me with the dash completely off, so I don't know if there was any lights on or off. I believe that's the transfer case is for the four-wheel drive trouble codes onto this one current current communications you god knows vehicle speed there we go there we go okay clear DTCs it could be guys that let me go back now just try one thing here It might be that the car needs to be driven now. Yeah, it might be that needs to be driven to see that those faults are now gone. Okay, so that's what you can do with it. That's all your available options. Uh, this video is not to sort any issues, so even if that's uh, an active problem, uh, it will have to be for another video if I'm requested to look at it. Because the only thing I was asked to look at the car was the dash. That would be completely off. That wouldn't work. It was stuck at 1000 RPMs. The temperature was stuck halfway through. So yeah, it's on my other videos. But this was, guys, the Maxi Sys on a Sangyong Rodius 270S. And that's it. That's what you can do. My opinion about it, not too bad. Uh, looks like it's capable of a few special functions which is good uh, very very poorly on airbag uh, but hey you can't have everything overall I think uh, to kind of diagnose and uh, fault coding a Sangyong like this not too bad I think would do the job and uh, and that's it really guys for this video so well, what else to say Hope you enjoyed the video. If you guys do have any questions, any comments, please put them below. And like always, thanks for watching.